all these users to get access to the perspective project. Uh, if I gave, if I give like the URL, and they should be able to with this uh, credentials, let's say the username and password, they should be good to go. So how can we do that? So the first thing is let's create some users here. So in order to create users, we we need go to the gateway side, and here on the gateway we can go here and let's go to the configuration let me go here i am the administration okay so let's go here in the user roles users so we can create another uh new user source or let's create a new user source so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna put here in internal so we're gonna put over here and here we're gonna call maintenance maintenance Okay, uh, and the description here, they're going to put here description um, users from maintenance area. Okay, um, so for now, it's just this. So let's create this user search. So we have the maintenance over here. And here we're going to create, um, let's manage users. So let's create here the roles. So the role that they're going to create here, I'm going to create um, operator and I'm going to create here um, manager okay so I create here manager and operator and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a user here and the user that we're going to create here let's put the name um, Alex and I'm going to put some password over here just for now so I'm going to put here uh, Alex as well just for now here and okay this is the first name last name and I'm gonna put here manager um, okay so this is what I'm gonna do add user so we had one over here and let's put another another guy here let's put here um, Alexander and I gotta put the username here as well and the password okay I'm gonna put the same password here just copying here um, the first name gonna be yeah gonna be Alexander and the last name gonna be Castro and here I'm gonna put like operator um, and that's it. So I'm gonna put it here. Add user. So we have two users over here, and let me save this guy here as well. So we have these two users, and what we're gonna do here right now is so the next step here. So if we go to the user manual here for ignition, um, the way that um, you can access the page or you you can do that is by the identity provider. So identity providers is what we need to do. So we need to go to the perspective section here and do whatever we need to do. And also we have users here that we just created. And we have the identity provider here called it IDP. So let's, let's get it started here. So what we need to do here is um, on the gateway side, so we need to create the identity here. So let's go to the gateway. So now we need to go here on the identity. Okay, let's go again. No, let's go here on admin to get X to the gateway. Okay, identity. And here on identity, so what we need to do here is create a new identity. And I'm gonna put ignition here next. And here I'm gonna put maintenance. maintenance um okay user source so the user source is gonna be maintenance that we created a few seconds ago um and that's it so let me save this guy here so we have one identity so this is what you need to uh, to to add identity providers so we just add this guy here maintenance and here we are so we have all of them here okay so the next step here is let's go um, to 
General and System Identity Provider. So let's go here. Okay, so this we, we can live in this way right now. So let me just put here in the default for now. Okay, default. Okay, this is for control access to the designer when the designer to the change search is set to classic. Okay, that we're going to leave in this way. Okay, now what are we going to do on the project? Well, let's go to the designer. And here on the designer, on the component or project, in project properties, what we need to do here is on the general. So here it says identity provider. So we need we need put here the... Uh, user source so let me save this guy here okay let me close this here for now let's go let's close and let's open again so let's open so let me just open in the project here so I just put my password and everything is opening the project. And the project, what we need to do over there is go to the um, project, project properties. And here, okay, so here we go. So here we go, we need put in maintenance, the identity provider that we just created a few seconds ago. Um, yeah, and basically the user source here as well, we, we need put in maintenance, apply, and here we go so it's done in order to make sure that this is working properly so let's save this guy and let's let's launch the perspective section so here we have this guy here so let's um let's sign in here with the user that we just created so let's put here the alexander uh let's put here and here we go so now Alexander or Alex has access to this perspective um, project. So now we can see the Alexander is, let me let me log out here, sign out, and let me sign in again. So sign in, let me put here, um, Alex is another user that we just created today. And I'm gonna put like that, so yeah and here we got it so now we have all the guys here added to these guys and then um, and this is what you need to do in order to get um all the users to access your use uh your perspective project so this is the step by step so basically what we did here is we created uh, the users here with the roles we created the user source here or the identity so we created identity provider here we call it the identity provider the, the name that we uh, we put maintenance group inside of identity provider and after that we have here on the project on the designer on the pro project properties we need just do this step that we did a few seconds ago so just came here and on the identity provider, you need to put in maintenance or the name that you created on the, on the gateway side. And that's it. So we have user source, identity provider, and that's it. All right. So I hope you enjoy a lot of this class and see you next video. Bye.